Welcome to Make It Fix It Daddy. This video will cover the creation of the bridge I used on the toaster element for the Doolet toaster. The wire I have here is a 12 gauge wire. As you can see, I'm using two hammers, one as the anvil and the other as the bludgeoning agent. This intermediate stage is to show you that it's not quite thin enough. This is maybe three paper thicknesses thick and we're lo really looking for one paper thickness for the copper bridge that we're creating. After I get it to the correct thickness, which this is just about how you want it, I use a bamboo shish kebab skewer to form the copper into a cylinder, a rough cylinder, to be able to create my bridge. Clip it from the remainder of the wire, bend it in half, as you see here, and insert the elements, crimping the copper onto the element. Uh, I test the secureness of that crimp because you don't want, as it, as it heats and cools, it's going to expand and contract and we don't want it pulling from the copper element. I learned from the first time around, this one I made much thicker to be able to hopefully hold up for years to come. The first one lasted roughly four years. I'd like to see this one last at least 50% longer. So six years, seven years, we'll see. Final test was to hit uh, test continuity. Make sure there was no bridging onto the grounded frame of the heating element so that we could reinstall it. And uh, we're good. If you found this content valuable, please click subscribe. Have a good day.